All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about Gotham Knights and how I farm legendary gear, guys, because now I'm in the end game. I have over 50 hours of play time in this game, and I am having a blast with Batgirl, and we are officially in the end game. Now, I am in the New Game Plus. I already beat the game, and I started again all over on New Game Plus, and it carried over my, um, my basically, my outfits and gear and all that over to the new game so i started off in the new game plus basically overpowered but new game plus allows me to go over 30 and go all the way up to level 40 and as you guys can see i'm already at max level 40 and if you look at all my gear i have all legendary legendary suits legendary melee legendary range we got mod chips legendary mod chips in here and let's go melee we got some mod chips in here as well legendary and i've been farming these legendary gear and a lot of people wanted to know how do i get these legendary gear and legendary mod chips i'm gonna show you that right here and show you exactly what i do to get all this stuff because guys i want to make something very clear i did not get early access to this game as a matter of fact i got this on pc so i had to wait 10 hours after the game came out and I'm already at New Game Plus, 10,000 power, all legendary gear. And I'm having a blast and I'm dominating right now these guys. Now, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do. Now, when you're doing this stuff, guys, you want to make sure you progress the story to the point where you're starting to get very high difficulty missions. Because these are the ones that you have to do. These ones are, these ones are very important because you, also, you clearly get a lot of XP and a lot of, res a lot of resources. But the most important thing is here is that there's the chances of most wanted appearing. If you go down all here in the database, you go down the profiles, you go all the way to most Gotham's most wanted. These guys have a chance of appearing every time you do those very high difficulty ones. And you want one of these guys to appear, guys. You want one of these guys to appear. The reason why I say that is because when these guys appear and you kill them, they will drop you a whole bunch of gold of legendary resources and legend and a legendary gear. And trust me, I've gotten like 2000 legendary resources out of this. And as you guys can see, look at my it's called N Nth Metal. I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to say it. I'm just going to call it legendary resources, guys, because I'm not even trying to butcher it. But look, as you can see, I've already got, I've gotten enough to level up all my gear that I wanted that's legendary up and I still have a lot more left and I'm going to continue to farm because if I find gear that drops and the stats are just way better, I'm going to continue to go that, but I want to farm for this as much as I can. So we established that you want to progress the story, get the most wanted and you want to scan when you're there, you want to scan everybody in case you see a most wanted, he will have a skull with wings on top of his head. You want to take him out first. The other thing I do is that if you look around, you'll see like the penguin, detective uh, Montoya out down here. You want to make sure you complete their task. If we go down to database, we go down to crimes here and we go all the way down to where it shows them. The reason why I do them, those are the main resources of uh, farming, right? First of all, we're going to talk with contact Lucius Fox. Now, Lucius Fox does not give you legendary gear, but he does give you heroic mod chips and heroic mod chips at some points are very are better than legendary gear heroic mod chips give you like critical chance and critical damage uh compared to like a legendary one that just gives you either critical damage or status effect so lucius fox you want to make sure that you complete all his tasks because he's going to give you heroic mod chips renee montoya you want to make sure you complete all her tasks because she is going to be the one giving you blueprints for your melee legendary items OK, so I've gotten my melee legendary from her doing her task. And she it says it right here. Help Detective Montoya to earn exclusive weapon blueprints, focusing on damage, legendary items and more. So I've gotten a lot of my legendary weapons out of Montoya doing all her. So make sure you guys want to stay up to date and make sure every time you're able to do that uh, to complete all her tasks. Now we got Dr. Jada in here. Now she is going to be giving you legendary outfits like the legendary suits. Now it's not a guarantee they're going to get legendary suits, but the chances of her giving you one are pretty high. Now even says it down here, help Dr. Tompkins to earn XP and exclusive blueprints focusing on defense, including legendary items. Uh, Blue Oswald Cobblepot. Now he's like my favorite one. 
the reason why is because he gives you so much resources legendary resources and um and it's so hard to get legendary resources guys it's you know it's easier to get legendary gear but not as easy to get legendary resources and you need legendary resources to upgrade your legendary gear but as you can see help cobble pot to earn xp as well as large amounts of real salvage including legendary items so you want to make sure basically you want to do all these damn missions guys every time you see somebody out here you want to do all their missions and it tells you the watch there's a whole bunch of different people in the watch but it tells you right here on the side mma palomares she gives you a chance of, uh in incendiary gear <laughs> there it is incendiary gear uh charlotte gives you cryogenic gear oscar gives you bioelectric gear and toshio gives you toxic gear and david gives you concussive gear so you want to keep that in mind so if you're looking for like i, I need bioelectric gear right then you need to be focusing on Oscar's side missions, okay? So you want to make sure that you are doing everything that Oscar is telling you to do because he's the one that's going to give you um, bioelectric gear. Now, you can get bioelectric gear other ways, but if you're really hunting for bioelectric gear, you want to make sure that you really focus on Oscar because he's going to give you bioelectric gear. Um, Charlotte for cryogenic, as you guys can see. Now that you know exactly where to go and then you do all that right now you do running around looking for a high level you're scanning people making for their most wanted and you're doing all the side missions for all these uh contacts right like penguin uh detective montoya you're doing all that um the other thing that you want to do and let's just say you can you don't really have high difficulty missions popping up right another thing i do is i look around the map and i start in interrogating so i go to these white ones here and i start fighting and i scan them on look for the one with the question mark and i interrogate him because he's going to unlock those side missions and that's basically what i do guys that's that's literally what i do is not that much into it but that is literally what i do and i just come come in here and i look at my challenges i go to contact uh detective montoya save gcpd officers under attack in gotham city so i just go around and basically you will unlock these as you're playing the game you will just keep doing these um, and then the penguin, the most haunted, defeat 100 talons. So right here telling me defeat 100 talons, three of them, right? So what would I do? I'll go in here and I'll look for any any mission that shows the Court of Owls. And like this one, I'll do that. And the chances of one of those 100 talons showing up are pretty high. Or I'll do missions around here. I'll look for even the top, on the bottom, on the right of the map, you see it says faction presence. You guys can see right here. It tells you that the Court of Owls will have a chance of showing or the League of Shadows in this area. So if you do inside, if you go down here, you're going to the chances of you doing crimes and you're going to run into the Court of Owls or the Shadows more often down here in this section. So this is what I do pretty much. I just do this. I I do all the very hard to look. I scan. I start. If there's nothing really out there, I just go back to the Belfry, start back all over. And I just try to make sure I do what I need to do. And look, guys, um, the game hasn't been out for it hasn't even been out a week, man. And I'm I'm very happy with the progression I'm making, as you guys can see here. Like, let me know if you guys have any comments, any questions down below. I'll be more than happy to answer that for you guys. But until then, guys, once again, if you want to see my Batgirl in action, check out the video in the description below. And I'll catch you guys next time.